We recently got our hands on the Oppo F11 Pro and it came with the new and improved ColorOS 6 on board. So what's new with ColorOS 6.0? Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and let's take a look at just that in today's video. If you do end up liking this video, please don't forget to turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. So before we begin, I have a question for you. What's your favorite user interface? Stock, Oxygen, ColorOS, MUI, One UI, Add U, I mean, MIUI. Let me know in the comments below. So first things first, ColorOS 6 is based off the latest and greatest Android 9 Pie. So a few of the new features here aren't really ColorOS features. They are Android Pie features that Oppo has retained. Now I'm not gonna be spending a ton of time on them since we have a dedicated video based on stock Android Pie already. Here's a card to that video in case you wanna know more about these features. So coming back to ColorOS 6, number one, a new notification panel. This is one of the major visual changes that we have with ColorOS 6. The individual toggles are now bigger and much easier to read and they have a nice array of contrasting colors which makes it easy to identify what's on and what's off. You're either gonna love it or hate it. I find it easy to use and I kinda like it. Talking about what I like, the slight translucence of the notification shade that allows the wallpaper colors to peek through. Now that's cosmetic, yes, but it's nice. One of the biggest annoyances with user interfaces from Chinese manufacturers has been the lack of an app drawer. And Oppo's now fixed that with ColorOS 6.0. That brings us to number two, the new app drawer. Choices are great and we can choose between having all apps on the home screen or having an app drawer now. Just pinch on the home screen, settings, and change the drawer mode. Now you get the app drawer. Unlike MUI's implementation, this feels more recent since it lets you swipe up and not have you use a dedicated apps button. Now once you swipe up and enter the app drawer, you can find a row of apps up top. Oppo calls it app prediction and it's part of the extensive AI suite that they've baked into ColorOS 6. Let's get to that in a bit. Now for number three, we have the redesigned stock apps. Almost all apps have gotten a fresh coat of paint. For example, the dialer app has a nice gradient finish on the number pad and we have the material theme going on throughout the app itself. Others like the calculator, messages and radio have also undergone a similar redesign. Now one thing I didn't like here is change of the contacts and recents option on the dialer from the bottom to the top. I thought it was easier to use with ColorOS 5.2. Anyway, at number four, we have the new volume bar. Like with Android Pie, by default, the volume rockers now control the media volume. But as always, you have the option to choose between media and ringtone. The rest of the functionality remains quite similar, but now it has a nice visual flair to it. Yep, another visual change here. So talking about Android Pie features, at number five, we have the pill-shaped home button. Now that's an Android Pie feature, yes, but what Oppo's done here is provided as an option to select where the back key is. You can have it to the left or the right, and of course, all the regular Oppo gesture options return, so that's cool. The next one, it's Game Space. Game Space is something Oppo's got right with ColorOS. In the past, we've noticed it's added a noticeable smoothness to games like PUBG. Now, if Game Space has a few new options. For example, we can see the estimated battery life, the signal strength right from the app itself, it's supposed to even help a reduced network latency. Not sure if that's been effective, but for what it's worth, it is a feature. Number seven on the list is Hyperboost. Oppo claims Hyperboost should help boost launch times of apps, and apps should not launch much, much faster with ColorOS 6. Now with both the F11 Pro and the Realme 3 that we've tested, ColorOS has been quite snappier. Now at number eight, the biggest change with ColorOS 6 that's gotta be the built-in AI functionality. Remember back at point number two where I mentioned the predictive apps in the app drawer? Well, it's not the only place where you'd see AI functionality built into ColorOS 6. In fact, one of the most interesting things that Oppo has done here, they've built in a system to freeze apps in their running state if they haven't been used in a while. This should theoretically help save battery as the CPU doesn't have to reload as many apps as before. Instead, it can just unfreeze the apps and have the user continue right where they left off. It should, like I said, theoretically help with battery life and RAM management and overall make for a smoother than usual experience. 
And with that, we get to the end of this video. These are the main features Oppo has brought to the table with ColorOS 6. Is there anything else that you've noticed, something I've left out? Let me know in the comments below and also do tell me if I should continue with this video series with custom user interfaces, you know, other custom user interfaces as well. If yes, which one should I focus on next? Leave a comment. If you've watched till here, come on, hit like, subscribe, also ring that bell if you can. Have you seen these videos? They should be interesting, so go on, click on it, watch it now if you haven't watched it yet. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech, and I've been saying watching a lot. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.